All right, friends, welcome back. This is episode two of the Gungan campaign, playing, of course, as Boss Gallo, the ancestor of Boss Nass. And today we will be doing mission number two, the Gungan who would be boss. Rogo had been secretly plotting to making the Gungan cities fight in each other. With all the big towns at war, Rogo was free to enslave in the smaller Gungan tribes. Gallo knew that the only way to defeat Rogo was to unite in all the Gungan cities. But this would not be easy. Nothing worth doing ever is, right? The appearance of Rogu has pushed the Gungan tribes further into conflict. Rogo's mischief has made land and resources scarce, and the bosses fight over what little is left. Gallo must ride to each of their villages and convince the bosses to join his crusade to vanquish the dreaded Rogu. Rogo. Uh, it's be interesting. I wonder if it's um, like do it to like fight things for him, almost like a traditional like RPG with quests, or how are we going to convince them? You begin with nothing but goodwill and a caddo, and a few troopers it looks like. Visit the village bosses and find out what they need. As you fulfill a quest, you'll receive tr tribute in the form of troops, and save the dangerous tasks for later. Okay, that makes sense. Most of the nearby villages are friendly, but watch out for bands of militgungs loyal to Rogu, and also for wild burses that roam the forest. Yeah, we know the dangers of them. Do not explore the northern region unprepared. Rogu's forces control this area. All right, it, it's kind of cool once you get to kind of the, um, I guess, the more developed technologies or civilizations, um, where the reconnaissance, I mean, I guess the Gungans have like land reconnaissance, but it kind of makes more sense when it's like orbital or like, you know, pro droids or something. Um, like when you're like the Empire going into a planet and you get some reconnaissance reports, it makes it feel more like a real military operation. Alright, so um Boss Gallo and Captain Marsoon. That's right, he's helping me out now. Must survive. Okay. We the must convince in the boss and to fight each other. It is a difficult task you set for us in Gallo. Long have the cities been at war. Much bitterness between themselves. But Misa will do what Misa can. Alright, appreciate the help. I'm gonna make these two. Uh, group number, let's make them one. Make both of them one. And we'll make these guys two just for. Now, can you guys do follow? You can, sweet. On the march. Have them go behind. Just Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should actually have them. Yeah, we probably actually won't fight many dangerous sources soon. So I'm going to put you guys kind of in the front, uh, not the medic. He can stay in the back. Or she. Yep, I guess they automatically regroup. Okay, anyway. Since um, with more health and a medic, and plus the heal being hero characters on their own. Ooh, water. Gungans do like water. Anything here? Um, I may be able to conserve troops by only sending the hero characters. Nope, little pond, that's all. All right, to the north then. One thing that occurred to me the other day when I was thinking about, like, I'm having fun playing this, but I was I was missing something, and I realized what it was is that uh, in a lot of the later campaigns, in fact, all the campaigns besides, I guess, these first three, you go to a lot of different planets, whereas we spent, uh, we, I guess we were on uh, Alaris, whatever it was called, for the tutorial, but then these two campaigns, I think, are both entirely set on Naboo. I can't imagine they wouldn't be. Um, so that's a little bit, you know, less interesting, but it, it makes sense story-wise. But I'm looking forward to kind of being like the Empire and the Rebel Alliance when you actually get to travel to different planets. Because there are some um, some really cool maps in terms of like space maps, or you, know, you can go to like desert planets and snowy planets. There's, there's all kinds of cool stuff coming up. So um, we're kind of starting with the nice green fields of Naboo, but it will not remain that way forever. Who is this? defeating our common enemy, Rogo. Otto Langwa stole our uh, sacred staff. If they so uh, return it, then we uh, might talk peace. All right, we have a goal. Find the sacred staff. Okay, I wonder where that could be. So let me look at the factions here. There we go. So ooh, a lot of uh, Militagungs serving Rogo. Um, so this is Ata Janhai. Okay, so there's four of these guys. And also some verses as well. Okay, a lot of different factions. That's interesting. Um, 
All right, I don't think we have any information about where they are, so he did say don't go north, but it looks like we're probably meant to go somewhat north. Let's just explore a bit. Sorry, they're a little slow. I think the, the regular ground troops and the medic are kind of slow. I could probably go a lot faster if it was just the mounted troops, but if I run into trouble, I'm going to need all the help I can get. All right, so probably need to go north. Just not too far north. And I wonder, we have to fight them and take the staff, or can we make a deal with them? Maybe we make a deal with them that they'll give the staff. Oh, where's the way out? Here. There we go. It's getting worried for a second. It's like, did I miss something? Oh, let's head east for now. Seems to be the main road. Oh, who is this? Oh, they're right there. Now, is Atalangu... I keep clicking the wrong thing there, sorry. Um, he mentioned it. Ah, I don't really care. It's probably these guys. If not, we'll get another quest from them, too. Okay. But if we stop fighting now, there will be no way to get back Arsa wealth. Gallo, Misa heard rumors of a stronghold in the forest. Tis run by Rogo's militia gungs to hide the crystals stolen from the Gungan tribes. Wisa might find enough Nova crystals there for Oto Langwa. All right. Thank you, Captain Marsoon. Sounds like a plan. Curious, what are the tech levels they have? All level one, okay, so this should be pretty straightforward then. Maybe next mission we'll um, be able to advance tech level two and get a little further. We probably won't do the more advanced tech levels, I would guess, until the later missions, which actually makes sense because it's in the future, so the Gungan civilization would have been a little more primitive, you know, 3,000 years in the past. In fact, I assume there aren't even humans at this planet. I'm not sure when humans came to Naboo, but I feel like it's probably within the last 3,000 years. Otherwise, you would think over a few thousand years, the humans and Gungans might be a little better integrated at that point, one would hope at least. Oh, there's some Litigungs. All right, go for it. A scout, too. Keep healing, keep healing. Take him out before they take you out. Definitely my hero characters. Get in there. All right, so we lost a few. Let's definitely heal up before we move on. In fact, what I might do is have you guys follow these two and have them go first, because they have way more health, so... And they also do... Oh, Captain Marsoon does a lot of damage. He's not as sturdy as um, Boss Gallo, but... Um, he does have a very good attack stat. All right, so there's something up there. But is that where we're supposed to go? Again, it said don't go too far north, so I'm trying to listen to the reconnaissance here. But let's let them catch up a little bit. They're kind of scattered right now, which would not be good. Everyone's healed, right? Uh, not quite. I sedu, or me sedu, however you talk, Gungan. That guy really was hurt. We only have the one medic, so definitely want to keep her very safe. I wonder if she can heal herself. I don't think she can. I think if you have two mags, they can heal each other, but not themselves. I guess like a doctor can't do surgery on themselves. It's happened in worse scenarios, but it's not ideal. Okay. On the other side, I can't let these guys die. Um, attack. I should have them on guard mode instead of follow mode. It's a good, good thought. I usually don't save these missions where you're not building like a civilization because they're usually fairly short, but I probably should start just in case, you know, something bad happens and I just lose. Like, I almost lost Boss Gallo in the last one, so. Don't want to take any risks. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, they're both hurting a lot. Okay, so. 
I'm okay using them, but I do want my other troops to support me so that we're, you know, not getting as hurt. And I also want um, to save just in case. All right, so boss gal is healing. I'll wait until Marsoon is mostly healed, and then I'll switch over. Because he can heal the rest just by standing there regenerating. It'll save us a couple seconds in the long term. Everybody else is still healed, three and three. Hopefully it won't take too much more fighting to get back this um to get this Nova and give it to them. I don't know about the staff. I, I imagine they're gonna have the staff as well. I, it was probably Rogo who stole it to encourage the fighting to keep himself stronger than his enemies. Um so maybe we'll find two different fortresses, maybe it'll be the same fortress. I kinda feel like it'll be the same fortress, but that might be a little easy. I should watch if their numbers change too. Are they building a base or do they just have forces? Probably just forces. And hey, we're in the second place. Go us. Alright. All healed up now. Okay, so you guys... I want you to guard Marsoon. And I'll do a save. And we'll call this... Uh, I guess Gungans 2A. All right, we march onward. Oh, we have another civilization, Atuurs. Okay. Misa have heard of Yusa suffering, and Misa sympathize. Yusa think Yusa town was the only one to face those beasts. We some must reserve our soldiers to fight his adversary. Perhaps if Yusa helped us pound on those bursas. Misa could help you against Rogo. Sounds fair to me. All right, so we have. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, we have a lot of quests here. I feel like we need to start actually doing some to get more troops. Like if we face a bunch of bursas, I'm not sure with this small group we could defeat them. So uh, maybe I should have gone north first. Um, yeah, sorry for the delay. I know this is kind of going to take a bit to walk back there, but just not knowing what else is going on on the map. I want to leave like one guy just to explore over here, see what's going on. But, um, you know, I only have six troops plus a medic, so I really need every, every Gungan I can get. All right. I do kind of feel, I wonder if there's going to be like any kind of more plot to this mission. Like is somebody going to betray us or, you know... One of these factions is actually working for Rogo or something. The whole scepter thing gives me the inkling that there might be. Because it's not just as simple as, oh, they have the scepter, you know, and then, oh, they need the Nova, then they'll give back the scepter. You know, there, there's something going on here because for some reason, uh, Otto John High thinks they have, thinks uh, Otto Langua has the, the scepter, staff, whatever it is. And they say they don't. So somebody is either mistaken or lying. All right, so here's a path here. Oh, and I wanted to, okay. Once again, we're gonna go back to our old strategy here. Oh, I see a center post, all right. Here we go. I imagine they're gonna start attacking us soon. Maybe not. Oh, there they come. Got a space portal, it looks like. Maybe that's where the Nova is. Yeah, they have a lot of health, but our hero characters do not have a lot of armor, so... Um, they definitely take a lot of damage. Alright, did we lose any troops? We lost, looks like, one of our mounted troopers, unless he got left behind. No, I didn't, actually didn't see us lose him, but... I guess we did. Although I imagine if we um, defeat this space before we get the Nova, and if we bring it back to Otto Langua, they will give us some more troops to support us in our cause. We'll have you explore a bit while we're doing that. Alright, nothing more to really to see up here. I think I did forget to use Force Explorer in the last mission as well, but oh well. 
Hopefully I'm not missing. Yeah, the, the, one I don't, the one mission I don't end up using it on is going to be the one that has all the Easter eggs, but that's just the way it is. Yeah, wouldn't mind having more mounted troopers to hurry this up. We're almost done, though. Come on, whack it harder. Okay, there we go. Yay. We have the Nova, okay. Um, and I think we just have to bring one of them down to give it away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you two, because you're pretty fast, head down here. And I want my troops to head over here. Because I still don't know where the staff is, but the bursts are probably nearby, you know, this camp, since they're the ones being attacked. So it makes logical sense. And just game map-wise, it seems to be, you know, where things would be. There's some blank space here, but there doesn't seem to be anything around here. With our some treasury restocked, there is a no need to fight our son neighbors. We so will join you, Sagalo. Sweet strike max. Only took a little one, but they have strike max somehow, but that's okay. Alright, well, why don't you guys join up our friends here? I want these guys to be moving because the walking troopers are a little slower. I think strike max are pretty fast. I hope. Alright, just updated that. Very good. Thank you, uh, Boss Hantic. Alright, we can probably explore the village. I don't want to wander too far without my hero characters or my strike mechs. They'll be really helpful against these troops, for sure. So that's really cool. I like that they don't just give you, you know, more of the same every time. You get some more interesting um, fighters to make your forces a little more dynamic. Alright, there they are. So I would like you guys to be part of... I might even want you guys to kind of go in first. Um, and I think they can be healed, even though they're mechs, because they're Gungans, so that would make sense. Um, Alright, I'm going to have you guys then. Oh, I made them... Oops, didn't mean to make them two. Can I have you guys all guard these guys? This could be a mistake. We will see how it goes. Gungans to be or not to be. Okay. I also don't want to save overly. You know, I don't want to save every three seconds, so I'll try to be. I'll try to find the right balance. Make sure the slower troops can stay at pace. Oh, this is another city. Okay, Atu Raban. What do you guys need? Have you seen any burses? Very recently. Tribe. Slogo has a prison camp to the north of Hare. Maybe this is Hare. the boss of Otto Raven was taken. Until Giza is returned safe and sound, it will be war for us. And... All right, let's find the boss. But he did say another tribe. He didn't say like militia guns, militia guns, however you say them. Um, so yeah, I do. Yeah, you know, maybe it's as straightforward as it seems, but. There could be more to this, too. Maybe somebody's holding out on us. I feel like I maybe... Maybe I should have gone down... I bet I should have. Okay, let's go back down here. Just because, again, we're heading north, which they said is not advised until we have all of our fighting forces. So, um, And now that I look at this, it does look like kind of a, an unbeaten path. So it makes sense that the road will actually go to the village and the path will go to the bursts. It's kind of in the dead trees. It just it feels bursa like Game developers give you hints like that. Um, it's kind of surprising, though, that now that I think about it, I'm sure nobody really thought about it but me, but all these cobblestones, like, the Gungans don't seem like the type to lay cobblestone paths. You know what I mean? Like, everything is very biological and very um, sort of minimal. I don't see them having, like, a, a giant force of workers laying these big roads between their civilizations. But, I mean, I, you know, on the other hand, counterpoint, they did make these giant stone statues, so maybe they are good with stonework after all. All right, come on, stragglers. We're going to need everybody we can get to fight these bursas, because as we know from the last mission, they are tough opponents. Not very organized. They're very, you know, very simple fighting force, but um, each one is very, very strong. I don't know if they count as soldiers. I assume they do. So hopefully these strike mechs are going to be good against them, but we'll see. Yeah, I definitely sent some bursas. Okay, there are their huts. There they are. Take them out. Oh wow. 
Oh, they are destroying us. This is very bad. Focus target. Yeah, maybe we're supposed to do them after we get more fighting forces. It's a mounted trooper, okay, so it's not the boss. Okay. So we did defeat them. Hopefully no more bursts are in this HUD. But we lost, like, most of our troops. We have our heroes, one mounted trooper. I guess we didn't lose... We lost all of our strike mechs except this one. So it could have been worse. Could have been better, for sure. But it also could have been worse. Alright, good. No extra bursts, it looks like. Keep healing, please. Actually, ouch time was a few minutes ago. Now it's healing time, which hopefully isn't as much ouch. Just checking the map. Alright, hopefully, uh... Otto Urs gives us some really good troops for defeating these bursts. So that was not easy. Strike can be healed, that's the nice thing about Gungans. And medics don't cost resources to heal things, unlike workers, which do. Which makes sense, they're repairing mechanical things. You know, it makes sense they like needed to use like food to heal, maybe? N not really, but it kind of makes make sense. Food and medicine kind of come from the same stuff a lot of times. Alright, you guys can help out with this. Probably should have been doing that before, but wasn't thinking about it. And this should be the last of the bursts. Yeah, you can see more dead trees here. I guess they eat all the leaves or something. Not quite sure how that works. There we go. That's what I was hoping to see. Alright, well. Let's head back to uh, Otto Urs and let their boss know the good news. And that'll be two down, two to go. So we have the prisoner and we have the staff. And I don't know, did I miss something? It doesn't look like it. Like, most of the map is explored. These guys had the Nova, which was up here. So I feel like maybe the staff will be at the end, like a twist or something. Don't think I'm supposed to go upriver. There's, there's like rocks blocking the way there. I mean, there are two paths north, so I wonder if maybe... <laughs> Me see many bursts of pelts on you, so warriors back. Oh, cool. Is good news indeed. We so are with you, so boss Gallo. Hello. Glad to hear that. All right, I'm gonna make you guys group two now, since there's only one member of group three left, and I'll make these things group three. My first thought was artillery. That's mainly for buildings, but it's it's not because they actually are really good against mechs. Something I don't remember knowing. Maybe I did know it at some point, but um. All right, so let's keep you guys. Let me just take all you guys kind of together. And I'll have you guys. Ah, oh, you can't follow. That's annoying. It's going to be slow, too. Um, all right, let me take my mounted trooper. Do some scouting work here. I have to be a little bit cautious, because I want to see if there's something up here. Like I'm thinking this could be the third thing here with the staff, and then the prisoner is the last thing up here. And that's, again, assuming there's no, like, you know, plot twist or anything. These could also both lead the same way, but now that I see this path here, I'm thinking maybe this isn't the north they were warning us about. Okay, very cautious here. Don't have much uh, line of sight, unfortunately. Oh. Here is the staff of Otto Jahai. Otto Longwood did no have it after all. But nobody attacked me for it. That's interesting. So I think you're supposed to find the staff first and then deliver that. And then with the extra troops, the bursts should be a little bit easier. That makes sense. As I was playing the bursts, I was kind of thinking that it seemed a little harder than anything we faced so far. So it didn't seem like the same balance. Um, what was I saying before, before I cut myself off? Totally forgot now. Um... Oh well, hopefully I finished the thought, but if I didn't, my apologies. 
yeah, just in case we get like ambush, I do want to bring these guys up here. We have no prefab shelter, if that's okay, because we're a, I guess we're a marching army. We'll sleep on the ground and in the trees, which I'm sure the Gungans have done, or in the water probably, in their ancient past. Just like humans lived in caves before we lived in huts and teepees and the like. Yeah, sorry the artillery is so slow. I was just a little nervous about going too far north, as you guys, I'm sure, heard. And still, I think there's probably a you know 80 percent chance something's going to happen here, but just that 20 percent chance. Let me just be extra cautious. So slow. And we need the bosses here anyway. Okay, so that was all there was. That's what I thought. I think they need to pick up the staff. There we go. All right, so I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to have you guys return the staff. And while you do that, the rest of you can start heading up here for the final assault. Because it will take a while. So that seems to work well. I do like to give you the slower units as you get closer to the end. That makes a lot of sense. You're not dragging them around. Good game design. I said, it's kind of a, a simple game, but it has enough complexity to really do cool things. And uh, what really kind of sets it over the top for me is that the game designers clearly put a lot of time and effort into making this the best they could. They didn't just settle for a decent game. They wanted to make a great game, and it, it shows. Yusa have returned our staff. We so will do as Yusa ask, Gallo. Don't know why I have a sentry post there. Do I have him everywhere? I guess so. So only at the ones that are on my side. That worries me. Like, are they going to all be attacked by, like, Gallo's troops at the end and get wiped out? I don't, I don't think so. Okay, so he gives me heavy troopers. Cool. Alright. Wouldn't mind another medic as well, but I'm glad we kept ours safe. Alright, good. Once we all walk up there. A lot of walking on this map, I will say that, but... That's okay. I guess it wouldn't hurt to make, like, a shortcut here. I suppose the danger there is you might end up doing things out of order. So it'll be a race. I'm sure that the bosses, or Boss Gallo and Captain Marsoon, will get there the fastest, because they're already catching up on these guys who are the slowest. But I wonder, are the trebuchets slower than the troops? They're definitely at least three speeds in this game. Maybe only three. Because like mounted troopers have one... Regular troopers have one, and like artillery is even slower. It could be that they all have just totally different speeds from like you know one to a hundred. That might that's probably more likely because I feel like different even different artillery and mechs and all have different speeds. Um, and their you know, their bonuses increase by fifteen percent, so that wouldn't really make sense if it was just a tier thing. It would say like bump up the speed one tier instead. And there are some units um, that have really crazy speeds. I seem to recall. Like, there's a cheat code where you can get, like, this Ewok. Uh, I, think it, I think the cheat code is Simon Says. I'll have to do it in one of the missions at the very end just to, to show it. But, um, and it gets you, like, Simon the Killer Ewok. See, it's funny how I remember these things from, like, 15 years ago. <laughs> they stick in your head. Um, yep, as I thought, the troops have overtaken the artillery. Um, but, yeah, you can do that. You can get, like, there are other things, too. I'm, I'm also confusing this a bit with, like, uh, some other games, like the Battle for Naboo. Which also had some like cheat codes. Um, or was it Rogue Squadron? There were some games that had like. Uh, what game am I thinking of? It's gotta be Battle for Naboo. But there was like a chicken cheat code, which got you like the Chicken Walker, or the ATPT, and it had like its own little bonus mission, I think. I, I vaguely remember this from probably 20 years ago. <laughs> Alright, so our forces are all here. I'm gonna kinda just group them up because I don't want the artillery to, far too, to fall too far behind. Let's do one more save in case we get defeated, although, well, I don't think we'll get defeated, but I do think one of our hero characters could die, which, you know, would be a defeat, but, like, if they had to wipe out all of our forces, I think we'd be okay. And I don't want to just leave the bosses back, because I think I need their attack to help, and even their bulk, too, to help fight. Alright, Gungans, to war. Let us free the boss of 
Ato Raban. And unite the Gungan tribes. Oh, we got okay. We got some turrets here. They have a range of seven. Luckily, we have a range of nine. So let's start doing this. Oh, are these guys mine? They are. Oh, but they're okay. We're fighting these guys too. Okay, take them out. Take out the mechs. These mechs are going to be dangerous. I don't take them out, so... Right, I'll control these two and focus on them. Alright, let's have these guys back on the turrets. Are there any enemies left? Or are these all my... It's hard when they're all Gungans. You can't really tell. Alright, let's back up just in case there's any more fighting to do. Oh, there is that guy. Take him out. And you guys can finish the turrets. Yeah, they're... Oh, I think my Grenadiers got defeated, but... Alright. I was a little worried about these guys being killed by the turrets. Although you kind of have to bring them in, because otherwise they have... Um, they have troops as well. And the gate opened, I guess, because their troops are going through. That was interesting. I just figure, why fight the turrets and the troops if you can kind of face them, you know, separate instead of united? Okay, keep healing. But heal a little bit closer just in case. They do have troop centers in a war center. I'm not sure they're going to make more troops or not. And these guys are, okay, heavy mounted troopers. Nice. I guess since we freed them, they joined our side. Oh, there are enemies here. At least one. Maybe they're making one more troop from another troop center. Oh, see, I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have uh, left the little enclosure there. I knew it. But I was like, oh... Let's try to get out of range of that. Line of sight. Ah, oh, we lost him too. That's right, they can shoot across the walls. Forgot about that. Can't really line of sight. Even though it looks like you can, but... Okay, retreat, retreat. That guy's like one health left. Okay, if we can get hit on this gate. Oh, I'd only get hit by AoE is the thing. They're decent against buildings, but they're really not great against buildings. At least it's not a shieldy gate. I do wonder where those troops have came if I had, you know, they, they were they triggered because I got too close? Or did they just get, you know, activated? Oh, what are you doing? No more, no more, you're good. All right, everyone kind of gather up, please. Put the folks in attack mode, though. Um, all right, so. I don't know if there is any more fighting, but they still have a lot of points, which makes me think there very well could be. And the tooltip did kind of imply there was a lot of fighting up here. Yeah, this is definitely the prison base. Well, actually, no, the Marcy was talking about the one with the Nova, wasn't it? The spaceport, so. But this does seem to be uh, Rogo's main base in the area. You saw orders? Yeah, that thing has 7 HP. This guy has literally 2 HP. Let's heal him first. And I do apologize if we end up healing these guys and then going forward and just winning the game and freeing the boss, then... But why don't you guys kind of... Might as well take out their base while we're here. Well, I don't want to... There's a turret. I don't want to like unlock troops over there, which I probably will if I get any closer. I'm just I want to play things very cautiously. So I can't heal the artillery because they are not biological. They're I mean they're made of like plants, but it seems to be made of dead plants as opposed to like our mounted troopers or um, our strike mechs, which are animals. All right, how are you guys doing? So they're almost healed. We'll give them another maybe 15 seconds or so to heal. Our medic deserves a raise here. Definitely an essential worker. And, uh, yep. Alright, I think we should be in pretty good shape now. Let's take out the power core first. I don't know if they can make more troops, but just in case. And that turret obviously needs to go as well. In fact, let's kind of take them out first. So I get the feeling they're not actually making more troops, they're just sending troops in from elsewhere. And if they are, they're not making them with these things for sure, so. 
All right, so there actually was no, were no troops in there, so I was worried I would activate those troops and then this turret would start firing on them, so I wanted to destroy the turret as soon as possible. I guess the advantage for the artillery is not that it's great against buildings, but that it has a better range. So it's, it's um, you know, like a pummel is amazing against buildings, but it does take damage, whereas artillery can strike them from beyond their shooting range. And then a cannon is kind of the best of both worlds. It can shoot them from a very long range, and it's, it's uh, will very quickly obliterate a building. But its downside is that you have to deploy it, undeploy it, so it gives it a little bit of an annoyance factor to balance it out. All right, well, careful there. Don't get hit by AOE. Yeah, so it's interesting how the artillery works. It like it fires in a direction. If something is whoop, if something is blocking it, then. That's, yeah, I guess you guys can probably help fight. Don't wander too close. What are you doing? Alright, what's... I'm really worried about this one guy who's wandering off here. Let's take out this troop center. I don't think the war center matters. Like, I don't think they're actually like getting resources and researching things, but while we're here, I guess we can take it out too. It should be quick. And then we'll march on, see what else is up ahead in this base. It's a cool little base though. Out here in the woods. there's not enough AOE to hurt our troops. Nobody's in there, don't need to break the gate. Alright. And we'll do another save just in case. One thing this game does not have is auto saves. But I guess, you know, when this game was made. You know, it was 2001, so computers did not have as much storage anywhere near as they do now, so maybe they're trying to avoid uh, clogging up people's computers with a bunch of autosaves, I don't know. Okay, I see a command center. But no workers. Some prefab shelters. Where is the last prisoner? There he is. The boss reported. Alright. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, turret, okay. New plan. You guys attack that. And where are the bosses? Anyways, oh, they're getting shot by that turret. Alright, back up a bit. I'll have just the bosses take down the gate because they can take it. We can't let Boss Hoxie die either, although maybe there's nobody else to, to kill him. I assume these two can get in minimum range and help out, so we're gonna do that. Militagungs, where? Oh, this thing, okay. I was thinking like literal militagungs, militia guns. anyone else. Let's explore the camp though, see what else is going on over here. Uh, nothing it turns out. Alright, well, that's that then. Have you guys clear the way just in case there's an ambush on the way back or something. Guard the boss. All right. 
This is peace, hopefully. Alright. Yeah, seems like the way is clear, so unless we have like an ambush once we get back to the village. That'll probably be it for this mission. It's been a kind of a long one, 40 minutes or so, so I'd be okay with that. I'm ready to get on and build a base and um, take on Boss Rogo. Yay! Wait for it. There it is. I'm not sure why it takes a second sometimes, but maybe it like well. Hold that thought. Boss Gallo sleeping well that night because he's bringing all the Gungan tribes together. <laughs> Although it doesn't say who stole the staff, I assume a guns, but, um, once again I lost my train of thought, sorry, it's, it's very early in the morning for me, I did get some sleep, took a very long nap, um, but, anyway, military, Let's see, it was a pretty straightforward mission after all. Alright, there's our battles there. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching, what's the yellow, I guess, I don't know, I'm curious what the yellow is. Um, but anyway, that's it for now. I will see you all right back here for episode number three.